here we are, Bonnie Scotland. We're on the tip now. Nice river at the bottom. Give you a bit of a clue where we are. What's the road just at the back there? A90. A74, I think it is something like the main road that runs up through to Scotland, up to Inverness, anyway. Uh, we're about half an hour in. Plenty of fresh there. There's about a foot and a half spoil on top, then straight into fresh. Nothing up yet, but we'll keep going and see what happens. Like I said, we're only an hour in. So here we go. Well, we're we'll flogging a dead horse on this tip. This is all number three, this. We've had a crescent poison. And Andy's finally got a cream. Commonest cream in the world, I think, but <laughs> a cream's a cream at the end of the day. I'm so happy. Let's have a look. A quite a nice pink one, actually. It is a good pink. I tell you what, this camera's not a patch on Digger Kilroy's. <laughs> Captain Quality. Happy days. A find, finally. Well, it's about 30 seconds later, after that last one. And as you can see... Cream number two. Bizarre. We've dug all day and not seen a fragment of one. And two within two minutes of each other. Less than. She's got no face, her. Must be a rare one. Yeah, she's got a top on as well. I know, it's Holloway's, isn't it? <sighs> It's a good seam of creams down there. Yeah, it seems to be, doesn't it? We might just have to dig a little bit more now. Yeah, we were actually, just before that other cream, we were toying with the idea of um, going drowning our sorrows at the pub, and then we've had two creams. So, I don't know. Dilemmas. Well, we've got to at least get into that red layer now. That's delivered two creams in the space of ten shovel things. I think we're going to get some Michael though off the forum boys when they see the size of this hole we've dug. We've not seen the other ones though, have they? So. What, what, what have I dug? Just remind me. It's red down there, isn't it? Plain. Some gear in there. Yeah, it does seem to be, doesn't it? Well, Chris finally he's broken his his duck by pulling out yet another stranny, but this one's a sepia print. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Got a little chip in it. He probably did that with his fork, of course, but um, but uh, that's uh, that's quite a good find, actually. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, since I'm winning the toss, you might not have one in the end anyway. I'll get a better one than that. <laughs> well, uh, Chris has improved his score again with this uh, nice uh, card from uh, Athol Aerated Water Company in Pit Lockery. Uh, interestingly, this is made by the uh, Portobello uh, Bottle Works in, uh, I think it's Glasgow, uh, which is one of the very few people in Scotland who actually manufacture cards. It's nice clean condition, if not the most exciting design, so that's another good find. Well. Uh, Chris has improved his score again with this uh, nice uh, card from uh, Athol Aerated Water Company in Pit Lockery. Uh, interestingly, this is made by the uh, Portobello uh, Bottle Works in, uh, I think it's Glasgow, uh, which is one of the very few people in Scotland who actually manufacture cards. 
It's nice clean condition, if not the most exciting design, so that's another good find. Well, here we are. Just arrived on the uh, the Inverness tip. We just had the biggest heart disease giving breakfast ever. So hopefully we're gonna burn that off then we maybe find a few bottles somewhere over there. But it's a serious jungle to get if it looks the things. But uh, we'll keep you posted anyway. Well, here we are. Just arrived on the uh, the Inverness tip. We just had the biggest heart disease giving breakfast ever. So hopefully we're gonna burn that off then we maybe find a few bottles somewhere over there. But it's a serious jungle to get if it looks the things. But uh, we'll keep you posted anyway. Well, we're now digging. Blasting away through the grand capping. Um, there's been a bit of recent activity. Oh no! Tip. Oh, he's just a cream. Oh, no. Kev's just smashed a cream. <laughs> yep. Oh, I've smashed a cream again. <laughs> I, it's it, better, it better be a common one. Strani. It's a strani. It's not too bad. Kev the cream. First, first find of day and Kev smashed it. Look at that. Fantastic. Not as bad as this one though. Look at that. Somebody's had a bad day. I wonder if you can make that out with this. But uh, they've obviously gone straight through with fork. <laughs> Shame, nice ginger that as well. Pictorial. So, and this took. Oh, oh, is that a bottle? I know it's a brick, it's alright. As you can see, nasty capping, but oh, at least we know it's fresh underneath. <laughs> so here we get on. Yeah, good find. Cream number two of the day. Kev smashed the first one. <laughs> then we've had a cod, and now we're. Galloway Creameries. Stram rare, just out the capping as well, so Very looking nice. good, looking good. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good dig again. Yeah, Chris it's hasn't found uh, anything, so. No, they, they just, what they do, they let me smash the capping off with pick and do out graft. And then they just go in and rape out fines. But, uh, we'll see. It's all started to take shape now a little bit. Sounds like Kev's just hit a bottle then. <laughs> <laughs> End of his spit. <laughs> It's only lucky, did it? Let's just uh, see if there's anything there. Nasty capping on here, though. Oof. You're not going to be able to pick. I think, uh, what's that? Inverness football ground, that one. Uh, Howley Stadium. Who's Stadium? Inverness. Howley Inverness. Football. Struggling to understand the Kevin. He speaks a funny language. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we can understand if you don't make sense. <laughs> well, here we are on Inverness, about maybe a quarter of a way through the day. Here's the main hole. We're staging it up with Chris up there. We're having a belt in dig actually. Got some really nice items. Uh, best of which is this uh, Beavis Patent card from uh, Macintosh's Inverness. Uh, Kevin says he hasn't seen it before, so that can't be too common. Uh, and this uh, uh, Meadowcroft, uh, Meadowcroft lip thing, James Hossock's Spruce Beer Inverness. Uh, Kevin says he hasn't seen that either, which is again a bit surprising. Uh, we've had another card, standard card from uh, Macintosh and uh, a couple of creams there so that's uh, that's a pretty good result so far and we've only been going about two and a half hours so um, pretty good we're hoping to improve on that total well it's a bit further on in the day uh, it's just getting better and better this hole uh, I've just pulled out this seltzer forest of uh, Inverness that's the first ever proper seltzer I've ever dug in my life so well chuffed with that Plus, we're having a nice barbecue on site. That's going along nicely. We're having burgers in a minute. Uh, I've had a couple of other bits and bobs out. Uh, chemist from Inverness, this one here. Uh, Kev says he's only ever seen these sick as a pig before. But this one's uh, sparkling mint, so that's, uh, that's a nice local item as well. Yeah, it's going well. Cool. 
I want much of a plan. <laughs> I'll try again. Oh, it's going, go on. It's a bottle. Ooh, a bottle. An amber bottle. Another nice plain one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Is that it? Yeah, yeah that was a good plan, wasn't it? Well, it was a good plan. Yeah, but but it's like the plan works, but... <laughs> Open it wall. No, nothing. Day two on Inverness. Kev's picking away. Fucking gapping from hell here. Uh, but we opted for a, another location on the tip. Straight into fresh, but... Up to now we've got... A foot of... It's ash, but I think it's just been compacted with rollers or something. So it's like a pickaxe job, pick a bit out, shovel a bit out, pick a bit, shovel a bit out. Uh, pretty much saps you, but it should be fresh and nice underneath, so see how we get on. to see how we get on today. It's uh, third day on a run digging. Plenty of ale in between and plenty of full English breakfast in between so <laughs> we're, we're not in peak digging form. Let's try uh, forking that. Okay. Have a bit of a Kev wielding this pick. It's softening up there isn't it? Well, soft, yeah. You can get just down a bit, then you like landing down on the. Look at this, first bit of graft Kev's done in 12 months, this. Shows. We had to get him out of bed this morning, ladies, boys, and girls. Fucking. We're ready to go at 8 o'clock, he's still in bed, cuddled up with his wife and two dogs at buddy 10. Awesome. Well, Chris's looks uh, changed. The first spot that this uh, new hole is a Lovely. rather nice pictorial 6 ounce uh, McIntyre card. Turn it around, got the embossing on both sides. Very nice, very nice. Looks in good nick. Good and job. what's even more amazing is he didn't smash the fuck out of it with his fork. It's fucking mad. What's that there? Oh. Three, foot, three foot capping we just brought through. That's amazing. It's, it's, well. it's a good item. Nice one. Can like a cob there for Chris? Well, I'm buried yeah. into the ash there. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. But it's not a patent. Is that a forester? I can see another yeah. one. Yeah. Is it a beer? Yeah. Is it a beer? Yeah. That's a good line, isn't it? Yeah. No. Get here. Get the ballast. Get Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I can, I can hear the bottles crying. Ah, on my We've been here a yeah. hundred years, and this fucking madman with a fork's gonna muller us. Looks like it's that one of those plain old sops. Right, I might get out before the batteries run out. Oh, yeah, batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It's a 
wine in it. Yep, that's an old wine, I think. Unless it's a Crown Cap Mineral, which... Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see that there, but it's looking promising. <gasps> How many square lids is it with no print on? <laughs> what do you reckon? Gotta be. No plan. Go on. Hey! <laughs> Very good. Very cracker. Looking good. Well, that's we've just had this small spot here, and we've had. Two cods and a square lid. Big in ten minutes. It's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Could well be there. That's fresh, that. See that? <laughs> see that? Can you see that, boys and girls at home? Look at that. Actually, Clean as a whistle. Actually, it's got glaze on it. You liar. <laughs> Tell you what, Mr. Foster will try and sell anything to you. He it has, it's got good Don't value. believe what he says. <laughs> Have a look. Quite nice. Yeah, you know, nicely. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, things have got a bit exciting now because uh, we can see in the bottom of the hole the neck of a ginger, which is a uh, nice thing to see. Chris is going to pull it out. And he's going to try not to Break completely it. scratch it. Of course, because we're filming it, it'll probably only be a neck, but you never know your luck. And luck seems to be with us today, so let's have a look. Where's it gone? <laughs> nice. <laughs> it seems to have vanished mysteriously. <laughs> no, it's there. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> Got it then. Where's it gone? Oh! Oh, it's not good. Oh, oh I don't know. It's looking all right. It's looking expertise. <laughs> uh, therefore, I had a bit of a disaster dig today. Went to a, a different tip on the way back, or sort of like heading back down south towards where we live. Uh, checked a tip out there. But to be honest with you, we're both absolutely knackered. Uh, put a, not a man sized all in, but we put a respectable all in. We got nothing, a couple of swing stopping beers, poisons, bovrils, sauces, that was about it. But we've, what we are doing is going to wild camp here tonight. Um, right outside at River. Um, beautiful location. I don't know if you can hear it, the birds are singing. In the background, Barbie's on, fire's going, and a few beers to boot as well. Cheers, it's a good bottle digging holiday.